your own understanding. Truth under Babylon's empiricism. What up? Yo, I just want to get on here and bust it up with y'all a little taste about uh, common sense. So, there's a lot of videos, a lot of people showing their personal feelings in regard to um, the events that transpired involving Mr. George Floyd and others, countless others. So, at this point, you know, people are like, you know, really lashing out and making a stance and saying, hey, hey, listen, listen, blah, 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 this is not cool, as they've been doing. But as we, as I look a little closer, I'm noticing, you know, celebrities and even politicians you know, speaking out against racism. And I, I say that with quotation marks because it is an ism. Now I'm not sure if everyone understands the particulars of isms. Anyway, so even if at the highest level you hear or they report or they make videos or they say things in regard to denouncing racism, speaking to a particular people right now even if you hear this rhetoric about denouncing racism and it seems as if people are finally getting it the important ones are finally getting it that's what it seems as if because of all the politicians you know, that normally wouldn't really say too much about, you know, racism. And because of the celebrities that really normally wouldn't say too much about racism, you know, making videos and things like that and expressing their, their contempt for racism. So, I know in my heart and in my brain that there are a certain demographic of people who do not understand the agenda whatsoever. So, just because you have a particular group amongst the oppressed, you have a particular group being especially oppressed, and then suddenly, you know, we have this whole kumbaya moment where, you know, we finally acknowledge after all of this time, openly, that yes, racism is a problem. Let's not have our head up, heads up our asses and think that suddenly they're getting it. What you got to know is racism, classism, capitalism, all these isms, wordism, <laughs> all these isms are part of an agenda. So at some point, one ism is less useful or more useful than another ism, but still a part of the same agenda. So, you may not need a particular ism right now, according to your agenda, because maybe certain things, certain protocols, or certain goals have been achieved within said agenda. So a particular tool, ism, might not be needed anymore. So let's make it unpopular. That's the popular thing to do. When the agenda is already damn near fulfilled to the point where you don't need much of any other other isms that got you here in the first place. If you don't see this, if you don't understand this, bless you, bless your protests, bless your voice, bless everything about you because you're going to need it.